Hello. I'm Julia. I'm the technician here at Fab Lab in Blackburn, so at the making rooms. I'm going to be describing how to turn our tote bag here that has Morse code on one side and an image of the Lovell telescope on the other into something that you can send Morse code with. So we're going to be using conductive thread and electricity and there'll be an LED light and the electricity will flow along the conductive thread. Okay, so you will need some things. Some stuff is comes in your pack. So you have the tote bag, you have a little switch, you also have a battery holder, an LED and the conductive thread itself. Uh, the tools that you'll have to collect for yourself are some scissors, some pliers with some small ends to the pliers, um, a needle and a little coin battery. So this one is three volts coin battery. Okay. So you have to start off by just making sure you've got everything with you and then have a look at all the components and match them up with the components on the image of the little telescope here on your bag. Button down here on the left, does not matter which way it goes. You've got the battery holder here down on the bottom on your right, and this one does matter which way it goes because it's got a positive and a minus side. Electricity, when it's in a current, uh, sorry, when it's in a circuit, will flow as a current in one direction. So for this particular component, it does matter the positive and the negative. Um, we also have an LED here, so that's what I've picked up. Now, if you have a little look, the legs are different lengths. So one's shorter and one's longer. And this is to help you decide which side is the positive and negative side. Because again, it matters for LEDs, which stands for light emitting diodes. So this is a diode component, okay? So the longer leg is the plus, the positive side, and the shorter leg is the minus. Another way of checking is an LED will have a flat edge on one or other of these sides of the plastic covering on top. So I'm going to look down it from on top. I can see that the flat edge is indeed on the, mi the shorter leg, which is the minus. So on our design, we've got the plus and the minus beside this LED component illustration. So I'm going to turn mine over, my LED, and match it up the shorter leg with the flat side with the minus. So I've got my three components there. Something to know before we start, which is quite important, is that we're going to be connecting the plus of the LED, uh, we're going to sew through here, to the plus of the battery holder, so in effect to the plus of the battery. We then have to break the circuit of the wire because we want the electricity to flow through the component, not through the wire. So that means we will um, cut our, our thread at that point and then we will restart on the other side of the component. But what we'll do first is get the LED and in order for us to sew this down onto the tote bag, we're going to turn these legs into little holes like on our battery holder you see on the corners here we've got these little holes and that'll enable us to sew it down so we're going to curl them upwards with our pliers curling them into little circles not too little so you still want to be able to get your needle and your thread through it a couple of times. And you want to splay the legs a little bit away from each other. Okay, and this is where knowing about the plastic casing being flat on one side comes in very handy. 
because as I curl these up, there really is no way of telling which one was the long one and which one was the short one. Look down it, find the flat edge. There we go, I'll place that back. So that's ready as a component now. So thread the needle. And the first thing we're going to do, sewing wise, is attach all the components to the bag. I'm going to start with the button down here. And going into the inside of the bag, coming up through the dot on the illustration, which coincides with the hole on the button. And then, oh, nearly, un, nearly unthreaded my needle then. Pull a little bit of excess through the needle so that you don't unthread the needle. So we've come up through the dot on the illustration and the hole in the button and then going back down on the other side of the hole with a ring you could say ring of metal on the sides so I'm pulling my thread through, pulling my thread through I'm just looking inside the bag and I've left about two centimetres for me to tie it off with at the end. So in order for our electrical circuit to be nice and strong and not have any potential breaks in the circuit, we need to make sure that these metal rings on the edges of our components will definitely, definitely be touching the conductive thread. So I'm going to go over this three or four times. should be enough to keep it nice and secure with a good strong connection between those two metal parts. The metal of the conductive thread and the metal of the edge of the component. Now I'm turning the bag inside out and we have the ends here. Now I'm not going to cut off this yet because it gives us a nice long bit of thread to play with. What I'm going to do is tie a knot in these two ends, double knot, and I'm actually going to do a triple knot because why not? And then a very important part of this is cutting these ends off. Obviously you're going to cut the long end off, but cutting the short end off is very important too. I'm going to leave about half a centimetre, which is not very much at all, left on the bag there. Because if I left this short end dangling around on the inside of the bag, what might happen is it might come over the back of the component and touch the wire on the other side of the component and you really don't want that. That'll short out the circuit and uh, the LED won't light up when we press the button if that happens. So we've cut it off. Those little pieces that are left, the about half centimetres, they're not long enough to go across the other side. So they'll be fine. Okay. So that's one side secured. And we've got to do that for all of our components. So I'll continue on with this. And no doubt we will speed the video up.
Okay, so at this point, it's important to note that none of the excess threads are long enough to touch any of the other parts of the components, like that can't come across and touch here, that can't come across and touch here, and this is not long enough on the other side of the LED. Ooh, maybe it is. I'm gonna make that even shorter. Okay, so that's definitely something you need to check on the inside of your bag. Now we have to sew up the gaps in between the components. Again, being sure not to um, sew all the way through the components. We've got to stop once we get to a component. Okay. So I'm going to sew between the button and the battery holder. So I'm just going up through the ring and back down through the outside of the ring, turning it inside out. And now I'm going to not sew, I'm going to knot the little end of the thread onto the long end of the thread. Keeping the little end of the thread as short as humanly possible so that you're not wasting any of this conductive thread. Cutting off the excess. Now we're ready. We're going to sew along the illustration, making sure not to sew the two sides of your bag together. So on this side of the battery, sorry, on both sides of the battery, you've got two rings, so a pair on the negative and a pair on the positive. You only really have to connect your conductive thread to one of the rings. So I'm choosing the top. And turning it inside out. knotting it off. So I just pulled a little loop from my last stitch. You can see if I pull it there. That's my last stitch. I pulled the little loop out. And now I'm going to use my needle to create a knot through that loop. Oops, pulled it tight again. There we go. as if you were doing a granny knot. Now we can connect the plus side of the battery to the plus side of the LED. My last stitch is going into the hole of the LED. And we will tie that off nice and tight. But again, before I do tie it off, just make sure that I've not bunched up my fabric too much. There we go, it's looking good. So 
So we have our third and final segment of the circuit to sew now. I'm just checking that I have enough thread to complete this circuit, which I do. That's fine. I managed to finish up coming through the hole of the left hand side of the button there. So when I tie this off on the inside, it will be connected to the LED. <laughs> That is secure. I can take off the excess thread. And then <clears throat> now I'm going to turn it inside out. And double check that none of my new knots. have loose thread ends. They all look fine. Okay. Okay. So now we can test our circuit. So we've got our coin battery, our three volt coin battery. Push it in, text side up, so text side facing you, into the little battery holder there. Now, when we press on the button, yeah, the LED lights up. Brilliant. So you've got the Morse code on the other side for you to refer to. And then the actual wearable electronics on this side. That's SOS. <laughs> Great. Have fun making it, guys. Let us know if you make one. Take some pictures, take a video, and um, tag us in social media. We are at The Making Rooms, all one word. Um, so yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Let us see how you get on.